We will wrap up our measures of disease burden with two measures that are intense in their calculations and powerful in their meaning. First, Disability Adjusted Life Years, or DALIs. DALIs were initially developed for the World Bank's World Development Report in 1993. This particular disease burden measure is used in prioritization and decision making and is one of the most widely used measures of disease burden. DALIs can be thought of as an extension of the years of potential life lost, or YPLLs. DALIs are a measure of the healthy life lost by virtue of being in states of poor health or disability. The estimation of DALIs requires information on mortality, but also on non-fatal health outcomes. In an ideal situation, everyone would live to the age of life expectancy in perfect health. But we know that is not reality. A DALI is a measure of the gap between that ideal situation and the reality of poor health and disability. You will see DALIs stratified by gender due to the differences in life expectancy by gender, more specifically the fact that women have longer life expectancies as compared to men in most cultures. Because DALIs are the number of lost healthy years, the public health goal is to reduce DALIs. DALIs can be used to measure trends and the severity of illness, and often DALIs are measured only at the national level. You will understand why once we dig a little deeper into how DALIs are estimated. The conceptual calculation for DALIs is adding the years of life lost due to premature mortality with the years lived with disability. The first part is straightforward to estimate. The years of life lost due to premature mortality can be estimated by multiplying the number of deaths with the standard life expectancy. The second part is a little more challenging. The years lived with the disability is calculated by multiplying the number of incident cases of disease with the disability weight and the average duration of disability. As you are likely already thinking about, these are hard numbers to find. The incident number of cases of a specific disease or disability will need to be informed by either public health information systems or other studies specifically designed to estimate incidents. The disability weights are agreed upon by experts in DALI estimation. And finally, the average duration of disability is a very challenging estimate that often takes unique data sources to estimate. When calculating DALIs, you must calculate DALIs for each cause, as you can see in this slide. So you can see how this is continuing to get more computationally complex. But the concepts behind the calculations make sense. Measuring the years of healthy life loss by combining the years of life loss due to premature mortality with the years lived with the disability provides a powerful measure of disability and a loss of healthy life. Here is the list of disability weights. These weights are decided upon by experts within the disabilities as well as experts in the computation of DALIs. Notice these weights are stratified. There's the mean disability weight of untreated disease and there's the mean disability weight for the treated form of the disease. Although calculating DALIs is out of the scope of the technical capacity of this class, the information depicted in this figure is interesting and I hope at this point you can interpret it. Looking at the WHO classification of countries by income and geography, we see that in Africa it is the years of life lost due to premature mortality that result in such a high estimate of DALIs per 1,000 population. This is in contrast to high-income countries, the Americas, and the Western Pacific, where both the years of life lost due to premature mortality and the years lived with the disability contribute about equally to the overall disease burden described by DALIs. DALIs inform public policy and program because they are an insightful measure of the burden in the population due to premature mortality and disability. Let's take a break. <music>